Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking you through some drugstore products that are worth the hype or worth purchasing. Some of these are things that I've seen people talk about a lot and that I also agree with them on that they are really good. And some of them are things that I've found and I've not seen talked about a lot, but I just wanted to mention because I think they are worth purchasing. So without making this intro too long or too rambly, I'm going to get on with it. But before, just a quick note to subscribe if you are new and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also leave me some lipstick emojis down in the comments because I love emojis. So the first item is one that I've seen a lot of people talking about recently. And I also featured this in a haul a couple of weeks back. I'll link that somewhere up here and in the info box if you want to go and watch it and this is the L'Oreal Mega Volume Miss Baby Roll Mascara. This is a really lovely lengthening mascara but it doesn't have too much of the volume to it. It's very defining, very lengthening but on days where I'm not wearing liquid liner and I don't need such intense volume I have been really enjoying wearing this on its own and I've seen a lot of people talk about this recently and I just wanted to give it my little stamp that says I think this is worth the hype. I really do like this one. But those are my thoughts on that one. I do really really like it and I definitely think that it is worth a purchase if you don't like super super volumized mascaras you're gonna like this one a lot on days where i'm going for a more minimal eye makeup look this one is the best and then i'm moving on to some other products from l'oreal that i've really been enjoying recently these are the colorish matte lipsticks and i haven't seen too many people talk about these i've seen a couple of people talk about them but i am so obsessed with these. I have the shades Blush, In a Rush and Hype. I also own pret porter which is a really nice pinky colour, but it's not my favourite, but these are two that I am just absolutely obsessed with. So Blush, In a Rush is a really beautiful blush pink tone, and then Hype is like an intense corally orangey red, and it is beautiful. Me, in lipsticks. I love it. So yeah, they're really matte, very long lasting. The quality of them is just beautiful for the price. I've been really impressed by these. I've liked the L'Oreal Color Rouge lipsticks, but I definitely felt they needed to do something a bit more matte. And this just filled a gap that I felt like they had completely. And the nice thing about them is that they're not super matte, so they're not very drying. I just find them so comfortable to wear. They're a very creamy matte without being slippy or slidey. And I am just so impressed with these. I think these are some of the best drugstore lipsticks ever. I know that is a bold claim, but I really do. I have enjoyed using these so much recently. I've been wearing them kind of on a daily, semi-daily basis. Sometimes I wear the Illamasqua lipstick I've been really liking recently, but if I'm not wearing that, then I'm wearing one of these. And whilst I'm on the subject of lipsticks, I thought I'd talk about some lipsticks from Rimmel that I have been really into recently. I've had these for a little while and I haven't really used them too much until very recently. And I was on a shoot with Rimmel, which was when I kind of was playing about with a lot of the Rimmel products. We have like a day before where we go and like test everything. Imagine being in boots but without any gross testers. Like the testers are new and clean and you get to try everything. It was so cool. And I ended up trying on these and then realized that I actually already owned them and I fell in love with them over the couple of days that I was shooting. And I just think these are the most beautiful new colors. The one that I wore for the shoot was 54 Rock and Roll Nude, which is a very borderline concealer lips, but imagine if concealer lips were pink. I think if you're a little bit more fair, this would look very different to how it looks on me. On me, it kind of is quite an intense baby pink, but it's really beautiful. It's like the perfect nude baby pink. And for me, it doesn't necessarily work if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. I feel like I have to be quite bronzy to be able to pull this off. If I'm just wearing like no makeup and I put this on, it looks completely wrong. And um, that's kind of weird, but I do really like it when I'm wearing like a full face of makeup. I think it looks so, so nice. I'm actually wearing this today mixed in with this one from the Kate Moss Nude Lipstick range. And this is shade 55, which is my nude. And I would actually say that it's like my perfect nude. The two of them mixed together are very nice, like pinky nude color that's kind of quite right for me. But this is like one that I know I could throw on on a no makeup makeup day and it would just look right on my skin. It works with my skin tone. It's a tiny bit more brown, which I think is what makes it work. So it's not as pinky toned, but it's so, so gorgeous. And for the past year, I don't think I'd used it very much until recently and then I was like, okay, I love this. These two, I've just really enjoyed wearing recently. So I wanted to put them in a like worth the hype worth buying kind of thing because they are so lovely, so creamy. The pigment of them is really, really nice. Despite the fact that they're creamy, I don't find them to wipe off straight away and they just, they feel nice. They don't feel like drugstore lipsticks and I really, really like that. I also think the packaging is beautiful. I've been enjoying wearing those a lot 
more recently. I've been using these for quite a while now and these have kind of been the past couple of weeks I've rediscovered these and fallen in love with them and I would definitely say that they are worth a purchase. Another thing that I discovered on the Rimmel shoot is the Rimmel Good To Glow highlighter. It's basically like an illuminating cream highlighter. It is so pretty but I just think this is a really nice high street highlighter. They're quite hard to get right. Lots of them have like intense glitter in them and this one doesn't have too much at all it leaves a really nice sheen there is a tiny bit of glitter in there which I feel like is to be expected but I think for me the quality is really nice for the fact that it's very very affordable and I really enjoyed using this and I feel like the high street has needed a really good cream highlighter for quite a while like a liquidy highlighter I feel like that's very hard to come by I don't know if you have any recommendations for other ones put them in the comments I would love to test out some more but for me I really like this one it's kind of a new discovery and I definitely think that that is worth a purchase next I'm going to talk about some new stuff from um, the high street that I think is worth purchasing so I haven't seen anyone talk about this yet but this is from Maybelline it's their master bronze color and highlight kit this one is basically um, bronzer and a highlight and then they have a palette that is blush and a highlight and I don't love the blush one all of the blushes are very cool toned and that really doesn't work for my skin tone this is a really beautiful bronzing kit and I like the fact that it has a slightly more cool toned bronzer and then like a neutral slightly darker one and then a red toned bronzer I love a red toned bronzer but I like the fact that you get choice in this palette and then there's a really beautiful golden highlighter as well they're really really beautiful and they feel really like silky as well on the skin. It's a really nice bronzing palette and I like the fact that you get a lot of different tones in there and the highlight is quite nice as well. It's not like glittery at all. It's kind of just like a golden sheen which I think is really interesting. Not for everyone, I know some people like a very strong highlight and I would say that the highlight in this is super subtle. But I think for the bronzing shades this is worth a purchase because you kind of get your options on more cool tones and slightly different shades as well which makes a nice difference because a lot of the time drugstore bronzers are kind of just very very orangey tones and I just think it's quite a nice product to have in your makeup bag. You can contour with the cooler shades and then bronze up with the warmer shades. Next I have a brow product which is new to me. This is from Rimmel and this is the Brow This Way Fiber Pencil and this is an amazing brow pencil because when you swatch this on the back of your hand like it is hard to get any color off whatsoever because this isn't just like a normal pencil it has like tiny little hairs in it like you can actually see it when you look up close it's kind of it freaks me out a little bit because I'm like a brow pencil should not be fuzzy when I first used this I swatched it on the back of my hand I was like this is useless what on earth and then I tried it on my brows and it is incredible it makes my brows look so filled in but so very very natural it's incredible I kind of want to do like a a close-up application of it because it's so so good it basically the fibers kind of attached to your eyebrow hairs and help to fill out your brows and it looks so natural and I've used this for very minimal brow looks and I've also used it to really thicken up my brows and it works perfectly either way. I also really like the fact that the shades in this, I think there are three shades and they're all very very cool toned which is so hard to come by on the high street and I feel like brands, a lot of brands are cottoning onto that. There are so many people out there that don't have warm toned eyebrows, it's not, I, I don't know anyone that really does. This I think is the darkest one and it's so cool toned, there's not a hint of like warmth to it. I think it's a really nice new take on a brow product as well because you've got the little fibres in it which help to thicken up the brows which I use um, my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper for that normally. Yeah this kind of eliminates the need for that and yeah I really like it. And then another mention for brows is the Fleur de Force Eyelio Kit. I really like this. Again, it's a brow product that's on the high street that is good for if you have ashy toned eyebrows. But I really like the fact that this one comes with two different shades of brow powder. This also has what I think is a highlighting powder. I'm not super keen on that just because I don't really highlight under my brow bones ever but I really like the powders of this. They're very long lasting. They're really easy to apply, really pigmented. They're a really great brow powder at a very affordable price. And I've seen a lot of people talking about these and finally gave it a go. I'd had it in my to test bag for so long. And yeah, I can confirm it is worth the hype. It's very, very good. So I would highly recommend that one. And then I'm moving on to some seriously hyped foundations and concealers. And again, they are from Rimmel. I feel like in my last worth the hype drugstore video, I went through a lot of L'Oreal and a few other brands and I didn't mention Rimmel too much and since that video I discovered the Rimmel Match Perfection uh, foundation and concealer 
really really like them a lot i think a lot of my videos around september time had these featured because i think they are like the best one of the best drugstore foundations on the market i do really like the l'oreal cushion foundation so i have to say one of the best it's a hard it, they're very different it's a hard decision to make but i really like the rimmel match perfection foundation it's a really lovely foundation it doesn't break me out which is a huge thing because so many of the drugstore foundations do they're all very very fragranced and my skin doesn't like it but this one is just perfect it doesn't break me out has a really nice coverage isn't too yellow toned, isn't too pink toned, lasts really well and has a really nice natural finish as well. I have to say I wish the concealer came in more shades, but I've seen so many people talk about this over the years and I finally got around to trying it and it is so good. I feel like it is like high end level good. The coverage of it is amazing, it's really blendable. The only thing I would say is I just feel like you run out so quickly. I don't feel like you get a lot of concealer in this, but I think the quality of the product is amazing it just blends in so well covers all of my spots it works really well for spots but also for my under eyes as well and i think that's quite hard to find it's that perfect like neutral it's not too pink it's not too yellow toned and these two mixed together are a really great pairing as well so i am so glad that i finally tried those and that i can confirm they are worth the hype and definitely worth a little purchase and then finally i thought i'd talk about a fake tan or it's a tanning oil i've heard so many people talk about this and I was so scared to give it a go because I was like, I can just see this going horribly wrong. This was way too affordable. I'm gonna be an orange. I'm just gonna match my favorite handbag and my nails. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be orange. But that was not the case. I've been using the Bondi Sands Liquid Gold Self Tanning uh, like dry oil. I've been using this for, I think about three weeks now, just on and off. And I really, really like it. Like one application leaves me looking like I've spent some time in the sun. I like the fact that you can build up the tan over time. Or just if I'm going out in the evening, I can apply this like a few hours before and it just gives my skin a little bit more color. And I have been so impressed with this. It also doesn't give you like a fake tan smell at all. It smells like coconut and that is beautiful. The only thing I would say is I am currently dealing with like a slightly orange hand from where I forgot to wash it off. And I've heard so many people talk about this over the years. So I'm really glad I finally gave it a go and I can confirm it is very, very good. And I'm just gonna go stock up on a million bottles of this now because it's possibly my favorite way to fake tan ever. Because it's a dry oil, it just doesn't leave you feeling sticky and it just sinks in really nicely. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. It's like my new favorite way to fake tan. But this for me is what I've been looking for. It's just like a really nice buildable, easy to apply tan and I don't find it gets all over my bed sheets either. So I am very, very happy about this. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let me know if there are any products that you have seen other people talk about that you'd like me to test or just products from the drugstore that you think that I should try. Leave me recommendations in the comments below. I would absolutely love to hear them. Also, if some of you are wondering why there's no skincare in this video, that is because there is a full drugstore skincare favorites coming up very, very soon. So do subscribe and make sure you click the notification button because YouTube's being a little bit temperamental at the moment. So if you want to see that video, then you might need to subscribe and click the notification button. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.